Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I want to talk about elevator pitch concept and what that is, uh, potential use cases, and why everyone should know about it. The term elevator pitch stems from the idea that you should be able to explain your idea or a proposition to someone in the time it takes to write to write elevator together this concept is often used in network events business meetings job interviews and other stations where you have limited opportunity to communicate with message effectively elevator pitch is a concept the reference to concise and a precisive summary of the product, idea, services, or even oneself that can be delivered in the snap of the short elevator ride, typically lasting for around 30 seconds up to two minutes. The goal of elevator pitch is to capture the listener's attention, convey the most important and relevant information, and leave a memorable impression of the brief of the time. If you have to think about the basics, uh, let's begin with basics and some of the examples of, uh, in which way you should present your idea. You could be begin by introduction, uh, then you should address problem or need, move to solution or benefits, uh, progress to value proposition, and finish with the call for action. That's uh, five bullet points that should be way to address or build your website around than presenting your idea. Uh, you have uh, just one chance to make a first impression, uh, to, so make it count when it comes to introduction. Uh, start with compelling opening that grabs listeners' attention. Progress T, as I mentioned before, problem or need, identify the problem that you're trying to resolve for your customers, what are the pain points that you're trying to solve, uh, idea or services that you are looking to present or offer to your potential customers. Uh, solution and benefits, present your solution and benefits and then offers, explain how your idea or product is unique uh, by solving the problems, uh, what makes your product or services different from your competitors, uh, you can bring uh, price if you it's something that you like for your uh, customers to consider first and trying to make sense of the price, that's another way of doing it. Value proposition, clear state of value advan uh, or advantage your proposition provides compared to other alternatives. Uh, value proposition, uh, again, I would consider perhaps quality, uh, years of expertise within the industry, as uh, some of the areas that everyone needs to consider before making a, making a buying decision. A call for action, uh, conclude with a call uh, for action. Uh, like something uh, like, like setting up a meeting, trying a uh, product or learning more about your product or services idea. Uh, call for action can be by button uh, or perhaps if there are some obstacles, perhaps what are potential ways to address those that you haven't addressed uh, by presenting your elevator pitch yet. So uh, some of the ways how you could do it, I guess. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, first time I have seen Elevator Pitch was uh, in commercial where they were trying to present a new product, uh, which was Microsoft Office uh, products. One of them was Excel. Uh, package and uh, introduction to a package and how they executed this particular elevator pitch uh, concept, how they did it. You can take a look at that if that's something that you, uh, if you are interested in. Uh, yeah, it was uh, one of those ways 
how they used to do it and if you perhaps learn how they used to do it you can learn uh, as it been done already and perhaps make changes to that uh, that's one way to approach it how would you like to present your product or services your idea to potential customers if I had to give you an example uh, I believe um, that's my personal understanding that most of the websites that everyone has right now in the world or at least should in which they need to present the idea what idea that they have is that could be potentially a product offering uh, if any business is looking to offer product or services uh, they need to structure the company's website one that would be similar to elevators pitch uh, in which you would be able to present your idea within a matter of 30 seconds up to two minutes yeah so that's where uh, at least every company should uh, consider having a website and uh, idea behind having a website and presenting information you should be able to present that information in a matter where you should pitch your idea uh, tell your story uh, introduce to your, your company's uh, product or services and uh, idea stems from uh, once you open a website or uh, by the time person scrolls all the way down they should have at least basic understanding of the idea that you're trying to convey. Uh, for those who haven't seen it, I have published a journal uh, that you can keep a track of your time, your day, and uh, make uh, most of your time during the day. How you can structure your day, uh, some of the key areas that you should focus on. The journal begins with uh, an example uh, for you to take a look at and the key areas to which you should pay most amount of attention at something else that can deep perhaps help to a number of people is dictionary when it comes to finance some of the terms and basic understanding when it comes to dictionary every single day perhaps uh, for a group of people can improve their dictionary when it comes to finances uh, that would be just one of the many examples of areas that I am uh, can potentially help people to understand a little better same as uh, keeping track of a uh, number of things uh, your mood uh, things that you should improve on uh, uh, reflecting on the day just uh, some of the uh, areas uh, feel free to take a look at it uh, you can find uh, this journal on my company's website or uh, different distributors including amazon uh, you can find it and buy it there as well thank you either you are working on your company's website or if you have any project or idea uh, i would recommend as a starting block to understand what that is since uh, most of the people are thinking in that way and uh, sometimes uh, they're requesting for information to be presented in concise summarized matter uh, especially when it comes to very complicated projects uh, to which sometimes myself I uh, cannot uh, really cons uh, uh, share full project scope or what would be required within the project in 15 pages 16 pages is sometimes too much uh yeah going in too much detail i guess and how clearly would i be able to present that information to potential uh stakeholders yeah it's one of those areas i guess where you, you need to summarize everything uh, within a matter of 30 seconds and uh increase number of people who are who perhaps be interested in potential project or working together and uh, yeah it's how you uh, answers that everyone would ask how do you get people involved interested and uh, perhaps uh, ways or unique ways how you're going to be addressing some of the issues that people have within particular area and how your project is the one that they should uh, be sold on yeah uh, invested in uh, yeah it's, it's it's some of those things i guess summarize overall everything within a matter just uh, if, if you can 
couple. Uh, I have mentioned five bullet points. Uh, some of those areas that should be uh, covered. Uh, if you can, within a couple of minutes. And uh, practice, perhaps your website is a good place where you should begin. And once you have uh, your website sorted, perhaps progress from your website into perhaps your service presentation that you can share with others. Uh, yeah, perhaps even you, if you can do it better, perhaps uh, keep writing down the same presentation in different forms, letters or emails, and uh, send those uh, to people who might be interested. That's one of the ways to get the word up there and to introduce people to what you have to offer. Yeah. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.